So real talk, it sucks being a buyer right now. It's a crazy, insane seller's market. Some of our clients are thinking about sitting on the sidelines and waiting this out because they're super frustrated. But I'm gonna convince you why it's still a good idea to buy right now, even though buyers are stuck paying way more than they were expecting. It's called opportunity cost. And if you wait to buy next year, it's gonna affect your purchasing power way more than you might think. So you might be asking, will it be a better time to buy in 2022? Well, we don't have a crystal ball, but I can tell you what we do know that will help you make that decision. There are two key indicators that we have to look at. First is mortgage rates. All three housing industry giants are projecting rates to increase. By Q4 of 2022, rates are projected to be an average of 3.7%. Compare that to today's rate at just 2.87%, and if you were financing a million dollar mortgage, the payment goes up $457 a month. Over the life of the loan, you'll pay over $164,000 more just in interest. And that's not even taking into account the second leading indicator, which is home appreciation. Now, do you think home prices are gonna go up or down in the next year? Well, everyone has an opinion on that, but let's see what the industry giants are projecting. All three are projecting continued appreciation through the next year due to the low supply, with an average between the three of about 6.27%. So what would happen if both mortgage rates and appreciation rise as predicted? Well, let's take an example. Say you wanted to buy my newest listing at 35 Hathaway. So it's listed at a million three fifty. Let's say you were putting 20% down, you'd be financing a million eighty. At today's rate of 2.87%, your payment is a mere $4,477 a month. So if we consider a modest appreciation at 6.2%, next year's price tag goes up to a million four thirty-four. With 20% down, you're now financing a million one hundred and forty-seven thousand seven hundred and sixteen, and with interest rates at 3.7%. Look how your payment jumps to $5,282. That's $805 more per month. That means over the course of a year, you're spending an extra 10 grand for the same house. And over the life of the loan, you're spending an extra $222,029. So should you wait until next year to buy? The answer is clearly no. The cost of waiting is just too high. So if you're thinking about putting your home search on hold, Let's connect. We can strategize on how to get you into the home of your dreams while you still have a chance to capture these low rates and save a ton of money in this opportunistic market. Remember, who you work with really does matter. So if you're ready to live your best life in your new home, I hope I'm the one you call.